Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today from 1001 Sandwiches of 1936, we are going to be making the peanut butter and tomato sandwich. And hang on, I know that sounds weird, but <laughs> it gets weirder. Because we have to start off by making a French dressing. A little prepared mustard, pepper, salt, a few grains of cayenne pepper, that's what the recipe says, onion juice. Normally I grate onions, but a uh, friend of the show, Chef Jenny, sent me some Howard's onion juice. Thank you, Chef, appreciate it. So we mix that together, then we add oil, mix that together, and then we add in acid in the form of vinegar a few drops at a time. Okay, now that our French dressing is made, it's time to peel a tomato, and I could uh, do the whole cross on the bottom and put it in boiling water, but, but I'm gonna use this serrated peeler, uh, which makes life a lot easier. So now we take our peeled tomato and uh, slice it thin. And then we um, let the tomato steep in the French dressing for 15 minutes. Next, we spread peanut butter generously onto white bread. It's been 15 minutes and now we take the tomatoes that have been soaking in French dressing and put them onto our generously peanut buttered bread. I am not optimistic about this. Okay, let's give this peanut butter and tomato sandwich a go. The tanginess and the peanut butter are weird together. And the tomato, I'm gonna bring a little sweetness, but not much. I want to know who hurt the author of that cookbook <laughs> to make her create this. All right, I'm going to try and plus it up. I don't know if it's going to work. I am cautiously pessimistic. I'm going to add a little black pepper, uh, some bacon. Try to save the day with bacon. Okay, let's give this maybe plussed up tomato peanut butter sandwich a go. No. 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 The tanginess of the French dressing and by the way, that French dressing recipe was from 1909, so don't come at me with the actually French dressing as comments because I did some homework. I'm going to strip out the bacon from that sandwich and eat it. <laughs> Alright, so the original sandwich, I'm going to give a 1. It is food, and you can eat it and gain nutrition from it, but it is not enjoyable. And the plus up, I'm also going to give a 1. Even though it's got bacon in it, it just it does not work at all. Again, there's food in it. You can get nutrition from it, but that's it. Oh well, can't all be home runs. <laughs> See you next time.